music from outer space. Simple DIY. What we're demonstrating here is taking the outputs of two oscillators now, going into the signal mixer, and uh, we're mixing those two oscillator outputs together, going from the output of that to the voltage controlled filter input, and then going from the output of that into the audio mixer. And of course, then we're going out to our amplifier that we're listening to. Now, what I want to demonstrate here is, again, kind of a drone sound. And as we raise the cutoff frequency, you can hear how that sounds. Now, let's add resonance, and you'll see the difference. Now, we'll add all the resonance. That's a pretty cool sound. Now, if we wanted to modulate this with the output of the LFO, we just take the LFO's output, plug it into the control voltage, and set the level of modulation that we want. And the rate. Okay, or the shape. Okay, so that's kind of a cool sound that we're getting. Just using two oscillators, one filter, one low frequency oscillator, and then the mixers that we've built in the spare op amp section. Now let's modulate the filter with the output of the AR generator. Okay, and I didn't mention too, there's a manual gate here, so you can hit that. Now what the gate and trigger do, in gated mode, as long as the gate is present, the output stays high. In triggered mode, it just triggers the unit to go through an attack and release cycle. Okay, or if we have some attack time. See, even though I'm holding the button. Now if I hold the button, see it stays high. Now again, taking the LFO1 repeat gate to trigger this, okay. Okay. Now if we had made the other low frequency oscillator, we can take this output and also control the filter. Okay, so now we can see that we're mixing these control signals, one coming from the LFO, two, and one coming from the AR envelope generator. Again, quite interesting uh, sounds and timbres that you can get from this uh, sound effects unit. By taking the output of the white noise through the low pass filter and then listening to the output of that, we can get some nice kind of wind sounds.
Now, if we take the output of filter 1, put it into filter 2, then listen to the output of that. See how the two filters really adds. On the website, I show you how to make this mixer as well as this mixer using the uh, kludge section or the two spare op amps that are on the uh, Synth DIY experimenter board. And one cool thing that's in that circuit is that you can change the phase of the one input to the uh, audio mixer. You can go from uh, inverted, which is what all of the other inputs are, they are inverting mixers, to non-inverted on this one input. And what that lets you do is hear some of the phase cancellation. Effects that you can get. That's kind of cool. See that? Now you could, of course, be controlling these with uh, the LFOs. To have it sit and make this sound for you. And so you could, in a sense, uh, make yourself kind of a wind machine that would just sit and make cool wind sounds that would uh, keep you relaxed. <laughs> What I'd like to demonstrate here is how by using the two oscillators, one of the voltage controlled amplifiers and one of the AR generators, you can make bell type sounds. So what I'm doing is I'm going to manually gate this uh, AR envelope generator. And you see he's controlling the output of the voltage controlled amplifier. And what I'm doing is I'm modulating um, oscillator number two with the output of oscillator number one. And I'm controlling the amount of oscillation with one of these attenuators, which again is just a very simple uh, voltage divider that's made with a potentiometer. And they are, of course, explained on the site. So as you turn this up, you get more and more modulation. And now that's with a square wave. Let's go to a triangle wave. See the difference? Very slow. I'll turn it up. And by mixing the various modulations, you can get some very cool bell type sounds. So again, perhaps you'd like a sound like that for some type of a project you're working on. You can get it with the Synth DIY Experimenter Board. There's really uh, no limit to what you can get out of this as far as uh, very, very cool sounds. It's a, it's a great sound effects box. Uh, you don't have to build all of the modules. As you can see, you can get a lot of uh, cool sounds out of just a few of them. And um, I encourage you to look over the plans, look over the schematics. <clears throat> if it's uh, something that seems like it would fit your skill level, uh, by all means, enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Well, thanks for watching. This is uh, Ray Wilson of Music from Outer Space. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Music from Outer Space. Simple DIY.